Right, that's it. Enough is enough. This is ridiculous. You're overweight, you're slow, so you're gonna run on here for 20 minutes, then you're gonna go outside and do some laps as well. Hey guys, I'm Aussie Villain and welcome back to Fours Up Ferrari. It is the Spanish Grand Prix today, a track that is known to uh, really test out the aerodynamics of the car, so we're bound to go well, aren't we? Uh, now, one or two things to catch you up on, uh, if we go and have a look here, the wind tunnel data concern that we had, it's been resolved, and amazingly, it didn't cost us any money, so nothing extra that I've been informed of anyway, so... That's good. That could have been a lot worse, I suppose. Now, we have got new parts on the car for this one. So, the car will hopefully lose some weight. Um, now, the first thing we've got to do, remember this now, it's rear wing. Uh, if we go to swap out, we have the new rear wing. We have two of them. Now, if we look here, it's going to take two and a half kilos, essentially, off the car. It's going to improve things elsewhere as well. But uh, the most important thing, I, I still think the weight on the car is what is killing us. So, that is uh, that's going to help us, hopefully... And the other thing we've got is side pods. Now, we only have one of the new side pods. Now, it's it's a bit of a tricky situation here. We want it on the car because it's going to take four kilos off, which is absolutely huge. Um, but who gets it is the big question. Now, Mick is, he's looked the better driver. But one thing that makes me a little bit nervous is that Mick seems to be a little bit more prone to accidents as well. So there's a big part of me that says, give it to Giovinazzi. But if we're going to be fair... Mix ahead in the championship, so we should probably give it to him. So that's what we're going to do. But I, I am not completely convinced that that is the right thing to do. And he only gets one. So if he, if he crashes it, then it's uh, it's job over anyways. We have to go back to the old one. So yeah, that is a little bit of good news. The car is slightly improving coming into this one. Now, as I said, Spanish Grand Prix. We don't want to look at the board confidence. We probably don't, but we're suckers for punishment, <laughs> obviously. Low board confidence. Uh, we need a good race because the Vegas 1-2 is going to drop off soon. And uh, then it's not it's not making for great reading, is it? So um, I'm not sure the first board uh, meeting, I think, or the next board meeting is going to be the summer break. So we need a big uptick in form between now and then. I have been told you can be sacked at a board meeting. And the next one is, the, is that the one before the summer break. Now we are expecting rain for the race on Sunday, which is always stressful for me. Uh, circuit map, we can see there, red sector 1, blue sector 2, yellow sector 3, and uh, there we go, yeah, a lot of medium and high speed corners, so, yeah, it's gonna t it is going to test the car, which is uh, not necessarily what we wanted or need, so the, uh, the safety car saves you about 6 seconds on a pit stop, now expected strategies, a 2 stop, soft, medium, soft is the preferred way to go, uh, so we'll probably be looking to do that, there's a big part of me that thinks, is that how marginal is that going to be? So 20, hang on, we can probably work this out. So 26 laps, or 20 to 26 laps, the, where's the our compound performance is down below it. So it can do 23 laps maximum. So I'm looking at that and thinking, do we actually want to do medium, medium, soft, or something along those lines? And is the medium tire actually going to get us to where we need to go a little bit better? And certainly on the basis of that, I would say yes, probably it will. Uh, the soft tyre does degrade a lot quicker. The hard tyre is actually not a bad tyre in terms of degradation. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to have a think about exactly the best way to attack this. There's only three tenths of a second of difference between the hard and the medium. I wonder if uh, if actually going on to a soft, medium, hard... Uh, sorry, soft, hard, soft might be an interesting way to uh, to go. But uh, anyway, previous race results. Uh, Verstappen won here last year, as uh, I think he did everywhere. So that is that. Now, what are we going to do? What's our performance targets here? Let's have a look. Reach Q2. This is now they're getting it. Reach Q2. That we can do. Um, someone in the top four. I don't think so. I don't think I'm going to waste the money going for that. And one driver. And see, they're getting it now. This is better Ferrari. We've got to have our expectations set correctly. Finish position, someone in the top four. Fastest lap. If we're in a soft tyre at the end, you never know your luck. Uh, finishing streak, so one car in the top six. You'd like to think so, but we've shown no sign of being able to do that. Same with qualifying in recent times. But maybe we've got some weight off the car now, particularly on mixed car. Maybe, maybe this will work out for us. All right, so we can see moderate rain expected for the race. It is uh, it's sunny or certainly not raining before that. So I'll do some free practice. I'll see you for qualifying. Fingers crossed that these upgrades on the cars uh, take us up somewhere near the top six anyway. 
All right, so we have done free practice. Let's have a look at how we did here. Now, FP1, Mick up there in third, only like four, that four tenths of a second off uh, Verstappen at the top, which was very encouraging. Uh, Giovinazzi, his uh, engine parts and that are quite old, so uh, lack of pace there, not necessarily a surprise. Mick then P5, which is, again, encouraging. Giovinazzi down there in 11th. And uh, then we go to uh, FP3, perhaps slightly worryingly, Mick down in 9th, but Giovinazzi still there in 13th. So that's all uh, not too bad. Now, Mick's engine did take some damage in that crash with uh, with Albert in Monaco. So this was the, his new engine. So I think what we're going to do, um, given that we might get sacked at <laughs> summer break anyway, is we'll, th we'll throw in a new engine here. Uh, his ERS took a little bit of damage as well, but we'll keep going with that. And then his gearbox, again, took a little bit of damage, but we'll uh, we'll go to the new one anyway. Uh, as for Giovinazzi, I mean, he is... We've cooked that engine, so that's fine. <laughs> we'll keep him on uh, on this one, because there's still quite a bit of life in that. ERS is a little bit of a problem. Um, I don't think I want to go to a new one quite yet. Uh, it's a little bit early in the season to be going to your third uh, ERS, so that's just kind of where we're at. So Q1, I'm expecting to be absolutely fine. We did save a set of medium tyres as well, so we're going to have two sets of mediums for the race. It does leave us a little bit thin for qualifying, so we need to make sure we're getting our lap times done, you know, first time around. So it was comfortable in the end. Mick had to do a second run because he, his first run he locked up, so he did a second run on that first tire, set of tyres, which was not going to be good enough because the tyres had locked up and were worn. So he had to use a second set of tyres. Now, of course, it dawns on me now. It's going to rain in the race. I didn't have to save soft or medium tyres. I'm not going to need any of them. But uh, anyway, that's, uh, that's kind of a bit too late. Now, Lance Stroll out in Q1. Well, 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 that's going to ruin his race, isn't it? So let's say the Mercedes are down here as well. Um, maybe. Who knows? Maybe we found a little bit of pace at the right time here. All right, now Mick has done a lap. He split the Red Bulls, so we are going to keep him in this in the pits. He did it on you. Ah, oh. I mean, they don't give out penalties in the game, but that is a penalty. I don't know who it was that blocked in, but right, that's a checkered flag. He's in sixth with Giovinazzi. He may have done enough already, but I'd love to know who was that that blocked us. Was it a Williams, Albin, perhaps? I, I complete. I didn't see who it was. Was it a Mercedes? I might get an idea when I go back and edit. But whoever it was has absolutely destroyed Giovinazzi's lap. But uh, he's done enough anyway. We have both cars into Q3. Is it for the first time this season? God, we've been bad. So I guess the good news from this is that at least I kind of know what I'm doing because I thought it was the weight in the car and we've taken that out and and we, we do look a lot quicker all of a sudden, which is nice. So we've lost an Alpine from this one as well. So there's a few of the teams ahead of us that have lost cars, which is nice. Let's go see now if we can uh, put this on the front row, perhaps, with Mick. All right, we are coming around on our final run. Now, we are on board with Mick. Didn't get an ideal run onto the straight there, did he? Uh, Mick is currently fifth. Juvenazzi, tenth. Both of them did their runs on used tyres, their first runs. So they should both be quicker here. Juvenazzi has gone green. Mick has not. He did not get a good run onto that front straight. And I fear a little bit that that's going to actually really hurt him. Uh, yeah, for the rest of his run now. Now, let's see. Uh, second sector should be coming up in a second for Giovinazzi. There are some cars behind us. Giovinazzi has gone green again. Mick has gone green in the middle sector as well. So, can we finish things off here? Giovinazzi coming around the last corner now. He is just ahead of us on track. So, Giovinazzi crosses the line. It's fifth. Mick crosses the line and stays sixth. That run onto the straight, that ruined it for him, didn't it? But fifth and sixth. Gasly might ruin our party. He does. He goes third. So 6th and 7th. But you know what? That's a massive improvement on, on uh, previous qualifying. And we didn't go as fast in that final one. A 12-6 that Mick did in the uh, in uh, the, the second set part of qualifying there would have actually put him ahead of Gasly. So there is pace in our car for once. We can finally say that. Let's get out there now in the rain and see what we can do. So when is this rain expected? Uh, so not too far into it. And it's going to look like it's going to dry up towards the end. So... Uh, if we can get a look at the track graph, uh, that's not much rain. That's going to be an intermediate tyre, isn't it? Uh, and then we're going to want to go... Okay, so... The soft gets us to the first rain. Absolutely no problem. So that's fine. Uh, we're going to want to go on to an inter, which we know can more or less go all day. So that's fine. Uh, we're probably going to want to look to do that somewhere around here. And then a soft tyre at the end. How are we looking... Uh, see, a soft tyre is 
a soft tire it's really not a good tire is it yeah so that's uh that's interesting so we're gonna have to go to a medium luckily i did save a medium save two of them in fact and we're gonna want to do that probably somewhere around there and that will get us to the end it's not at any great pace but it'll get us to the end. another i wonder if the hard tire and pushing it a little bit harder how can we no you can't really do that anyway so i think the medium tire is the one to go for so yeah that's uh little not really much room for strategy i don't think so we'll do that we'll be able to push the tires a little bit but not the whole way it looks like uh uh cancel did i not confer update it there we go i do that all the time um so there we go that's what we'll do with both cars and we'll uh we'll just hope that uh yeah that we the pace in the car you know it, it's still there and we can have a good race so let's do this all right welcome back <clears throat> i've just got a coughing fit as we uh <laughs> went through to go uh to start the race all right let's see what we can do here there we go there's a lot of soft tires i mean anybody that's not on a soft tire and it looks like the mercedes in front of us not on a soft tire there's a hard tire for... come on ai that's that's a little bit silly uh so we've gone uh sixth and eighth as we've lost out apparently to the hard tired house which is again a little bit ridiculous uh, we are pushing fuel early on here as well, just because we're going to get some of that back. As I look at Giovinazzi all over the back of Russell in front of him again, on a medium tyre. Ridiculous. So, um, let's see if we can get ahead of uh, of the two medium tyred Mercedes. Gasly looks like he's holding up a bit of a train here as well. And, uh, yeah, Verstappen and, and Perez will in all likelihood drive off into the distance. But that's never been our battle, unfortunately, has it? So, yeah, I will descend the fuel to minus a kilo, but after that, I think we'll have to we'll have to be a little bit more sensible about it. Uh, same with tyre wear, we can more or less let it go uh, as we're sort of fighting each other here, which isn't really what we want to be doing. Um, I wonder if we tell the problem. I mean, the problem for in a way is that Mick has uh, the better car. But I think we probably... Look, I think we're going to do rare, at least rarely defend. I think I learned that in... Uh, and don't fight teammate. I think if Monaco taught me one thing, just rarely defend. Because we were going so much faster. Or so much slower, I should say, with the always defend on. Uh, and I know some of you guys in the comments did say that. So thank you. Thank you for that as well. Um, but these Mercedes are definitely slowing us down. We do have DRS now. No, guys. No, guys. Uh, but unfortunately... It's not going to do us much good if uh, we're in a, stuck in a train here. So tyres are starting to overheat a little bit, um, which is which is more or less fine. DRS will hopefully bring us back into line here, and uh, yeah, well I'll come back if and when we can get past the Mercedes. All right, well, we're coming back. I uh, wasn't planning on this, but uh, Mick has got himself past uh, got himself past Giovinazzi, and he's cruised right up to the back of uh, the Mercedes, and, well, he's now uh, trying to put a move on George Russell. He's absolutely flying his Mick, uh, which is excellent news. Let's go and deploy Giovinazzi as well, who's right there with him. It's not like he's been dropped or anything. Uh, we've got Alonso behind us, but we did charge up the batteries quite a bit, um, and still, you know, as soon as we, we went off of that, we, we, we caught these guys quite quickly. So we've got Gasly and Hamilton in front of us now. The rain, I mean, it said lap 10. Um, we're on lap 8 right now, so I'm getting a little concerned this rain is, uh, is being slightly delayed. But uh, it is supposed to be here any minute now. Let's see if we can go and get Gasly. It looks like we can, and we'll just go back to neutral because we're about to get out of battery, uh, which is a little bit unfortunate. Um... But we've got the tyre sort of more back in the window now, which is going to be helpful as well. Uh, down the outside. Go on, Mick. Go on, Mick. Can he make that stick? It's not quite happening for him yet. He's definitely faster, isn't he? It appears to be just a matter of time. Russell has uh, been passed by Giovinazzi. So we are stuck behind Hamilton. The two Red Bulls have, have cleared out, but you kind of expect them to do that <laughs> one of these days, don't you? So... Yeah, we'll, well, we'll stay with this, I think, because this is, uh, this is as competitive as we've been all season. And, uh, yeah, we're, I mean, we're a big chance of moving up into a podium position here. We just do need... 
as we enter the pit window, but we are, of course, waiting for rain. So four minutes, which is about three laps. So the the weather forecast we got was a little bit off. So uh, weather yeah, updates. weather predicted, but of course, just because it starts to rain doesn't rain. necessarily mean that that's the right time to come straight into the pits either, does it? So uh, we will have to protect the tyres a little bit now to make sure we do get to the rain. It actually wasn't lap 10, was it? It was We were scheduled to come in about probably about right so the forecast probably is uh is more or less spot on and i've got it wrong now we've got gasly where we want him here he's gonna be on the outside for these next three corners so that should be job done there and can we now go with a bit of drs assistance and go and get to hamilton as well come on mickey boy go on mickey put a move on him mate and he is going to do it i think he's on the outside here but should have the inside to turn three and mick moves himself up to third Excellent work, and let's go and see now if uh, Giovinazzi can follow suit. He's got a little bit more ERS to play with. Um, but, uh, yeah, we will be a little bit sensible with it, I think. But it, it just feels good, doesn't it, that the cars appear anyway. Especially, and I mean, if they're competitive around this track, then they're going to be competitive most most tracks, you know, because this has, this has the fast uh, and medium uh, corners, so... If you can, as I said, if you can get it done here, then chances are you're going to be competitive most places that we go. I think we're going to push these tyres on a little bit more now. I'm slightly more confident the rain is coming and that we're going to get to the rain. Uh, so we'll see if we can pull out a little gap. Now, the one issue we are going to have here is the double stack, isn't it? Because uh, they're quite close together. And we are, in all likelihood, going to have to come in on the same lap. Now, it's just started raining now. Yes, confirmed. Raining. Uh, now, obviously, it doesn't mean we want to come in this lap because we would absolutely eat an intermediate tyre if we came in this early. Um, but, here we go, putting a move on Pierre. Hopefully, that should be a little bit uh, more easily done. There we go. It's exactly what we saw. We've got a yellow flag. A safety car now would be a decent... Uh, like uh, quite a big accident, yeah. Quite a big accident. What have we got? We've got a safety well car. Crash involving multiple cars. It's not the Red Bulls, is it? Um, okay. Apparently, we weren't supposed to know that. Uh, we are halfway to an intermediate tyre. I wonder if we split it a little bit here. And go... Let's bring... Hmm. Who do we bring in first? Alright, I think what we'll do, we'll bring Mick in first. I... I... I'm not completely convinced it's the, it's exactly the right thing to do this lap, but we'll bring Mick in, and I think the problem is going to be it's going to fall right in between the two, and then we'll bring in Giovinazzi next lap, as Hamilton has come in as well. Uh, we can go full push on these tyres, and everybody is in except for Giovinazzi, which suggests uh, that was a mistake. So we've done just over three seconds. And we've got out ahead of Hamilton. So that that is good news. Russell with a pit stop issue. Uh, the track has not yet gone to medium tyres. Uh, and it has now just gone to them. So we'll okay, push the tyres to try and get a bit of heat into them. Keep pushing the last corner. We will look at Giovinazzi and see what he's up to he's not gone particularly quick but i don't know if he's gone particularly slow either it's not it's not worked out terribly for giovinazzi either here it's kind of just worked for both of them hasn't it, it we'll see who comes out in front there wasn't that much between them pit stop is giovinazzi has no luck on the pit stops does he absolutely none so he's lost a second and a half even more there and he's going to come out a little ways down and uh, he is behind Charles Leclerc now. So, when you luck's out, you luck's out, isn't it? Uh, but Mick, Mick has held position. Mick is now cooking his tyres as well. <laughs> Do that. Um, yeah. Now, I don't think... It might go to wet briefly. But what I don't think is going to happen is uh, it's going to be it's going to be wet tyres for long. I think even if it does do that, you're going to want to stick it out on an, uh, on an intermediate. So we'll see what we do. We've got a second and a bit over Gasly. There's no DRS, or there won't be any DRS now anyway. And uh, we are seven seconds behind Perez. So that would suggest that maybe, 
uh, the better thing to do was uh, stop on the lap Mick did because Mick has gained on Perez who came in the lap, same lap as, as Giovinazzi did. So we'll try and move, uh, we'll try and get get uh, Giovinazzi forward now, but we might be a little bit stuck for a little while here. All right, well, this has helped us because Fernando Alonso, ahead of, you can see Giovinazzi in the background there, Fernando Alonso has locked up, gone straight ahead. And that is the easiest overtake that Giovinazzi will make probably this season, I would imagine. So that moves him up to eighth. He's really struggling to uh, to get onto the back of Ocon, and uh, he's sort of matching their pace, but he's not really uh, you know, he's not really catching them. Whereas uh, Mick more or less has everybody covered. Uh, we're topping up his battery as we go, and he's just sort of cruising along in third. He has got a nice little gap of uh, three and a half seconds back to Gasly. And uh, it's only, what, 12 seconds up the road to Perez. So if he makes a mistake, you know, if he does a bit of an Alonso there, then that's going to work out for us okay as well. But, yeah, Giovinazzi did really badly lose out in that pit stop sequence. I, in hindsight, obviously, he needed to come in and we should have double stacked. Uh, but then, of course, he lost a second and a bit to um, to the pit stop error. And if we, you know, that would have put us out at least ahead of, if not Leclerc, then Ocon as well. So... Uh, yeah, we'll see. Looks like Ocon's finding a bit of pace and pulling away from Leclerc now. So we do have some battery life. I'm trying to wait till we get more in range before I, uh, before I use it. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. We're still expecting range, so we're still a little ways away from having to go to a tyre, a, a dry tyre. You can see I, I toyed with the idea of Mick on a hard compared to the medium, which might just about get there. Uh, not, still not sure what I'm going to do. I think... If we have to come in any earlier than uh, than this lap, then we're not going to do a medium because it's only just going to get us there anyway. So uh, the hard tire wasn't a shockingly bad tire here, so it might be uh, it might be worthwhile doing that. But uh, anyway, I'll keep you updated if anything changes here. All right, we've gone to deploy with Giovinazzi. Alonso is right behind us, and the tires are getting quite hot. And I'm thinking that might be because we're a little bit sort of stuck behind Leclerc here. I don't know if, if sort of in an update 30 air is affecting tire temperatures or not now. But I think we, we sat here long enough. We just need to get past him now. So we'll burn up some battery. And hopefully we will go and do just that into turn one. If you could be so kind, please, Geo, to get that done for me. Let's just send it right in there, mate. Right in there. Around the outside. Inside. Bit of deploy. And... Can we get it done into turn four, perhaps? Come on. Come on. Into turn five. Come on, Giovinazzi. Don't let this go. This is costing us a lot of tire life and a lot of battery. But in the end, we have gone and got that done. There's no DRS, of course, so Leclerc can't come back at us with uh, with DRS. We have been quicker than him. We've been sort of catching him a couple of tenths a lap. So now that that's done, um, yeah, we'll see. That should uh, We should start and hopefully pull away from him. And uh, is that just the ERS message? Yeah, we knew that was done. So if we can stay a clear of him here, then we should be good. Uh, he is right behind us, though, which isn't ideal, but we've done that. And we should be able to uh, drive off into the distance now, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Oh, no! Leclerc has taken him out! And what sort of damage has that done to the engine Leclerc has just now this was at turn one he's bitter he's bitter because we sacked him look at this nothing oh there he did nothing wrong now that had the potential to do some real damage yes it did Crofty oh what that's going to have written off that's going to have written off car parts um I mean it's not great for uh, for Mick, because he was just kind of cruising around in a fairly comfortable third. What's your delta? But Giovinazzi taken out just in cold blood. All right, so virtual safety car has ended, uh, and it's ended just before the tight the the track's going to go to uh, where it could be uh, could be done in on uh, on dry tires. So that's a little bit of a shame. Uh, so we're going to go. We're going to go full send here with Mick, I think, and we're probably going to do two laps. You can see the sun has come out. Virtual safety car again. There is a crash. Uh, so there, we are going to come in this lap, I think, because okay? it's more or less there. Okay, he's okay. And we'll take advantage of a virtual safety car. So let's see what 
what we can do here. There is a few coming in. Please be a good stop. 2.8. Oh, that's world record. <laughs> that's as good as a Ferrari stop gets. Well done, boys. We needed that one there as well. Track has gone to dry now. Virtual safety car is still there. And, uh, yeah, so this is... This is all looking fairly good. We need to try and burn off some petrol now with these virtual safety car laps. Uh, we will be deploying the second that the virtual safety car ends. And ideally, it would end for us before... Um, yeah, never Stappen's in now. So it's not gonna, it, we're not going to quite have got the full benefit of that. Because uh, everybody's going to stop under virtual safety car, it looks like. So that's a shame. We took a risk then, and we deserved, I think, a little bit more to pay off for that. But not, uh, not quite happening. All right, virtual safety car is ending. Now, Perez, along with Ocon and Norris, are still on. Get out of the way, Piastri. Is it Piastri? It's a McLaren on an Inter as well. Get out of the way, you muppet. Uh, okay, so Perez is in now. We are an outside chance here of being able to jump him in the pit stops. It was Norris. Oh, so that's Norris for position. Okay, so that's why he didn't jump straight out of the way. It looks as though, no, Perez has managed to get out. So the virtual safety car, another yellow flag. This race has just descended into chaos as Hulkenberg runs wide. So we've got, uh, what's our gap? We've got a second and a bit over Gasly. We want to, we do want to push. We want to try and stay outside of, uh, because DRS, of course, will be active now, so we want to stay outside of that. And, um, yeah, well, now I think a lot of people went onto a medium tyre. There's only a couple on hards, but it will enable us to push a little bit more. But I think towards the end of the race as well, uh, they're going to struggle. So, yeah, we'll see. Gasly is uh, he's, he's coming after us. But as I said, I suspect he is going to really struggle at the end of the race on the medium. We saw how close it was going to be when uh, we had Giovinazzi on that strategy. So he is just getting himself inside DRS range, though. So we might we might have a losing battle for a little bit here. But especially if we can stay with him in uh, in his DRS, if he does happen to get past us, then uh, we'll sort of mitigate the, the loss of... Uh, He's, I think he is about to get past us here, you know, as he does the fastest lap of the race. But now the key now is stay with him. Stay with him. And uh, let him eat up his medium tyres. We'll get DRS along on our hard doing sort of medium lap times. And then get ourselves back on the podium. We've got another yellow flag. It's absolute chaos. And here we've got a as Magnussen flag. spins. We need one of the Red Bulls to spin. All right, now so we look, have just got back past Gasly two. with DRS open, but harvesting the battery. So we not only did we stay with him, harvesting the battery, we got back past. We've got him covered, I dare say. All right, so there is uh, 14 or so laps to go here, and uh, we've got Gasly at arm's length. He's just outside DRS. If he does happen to get back into DRS, we've got a more or less fully charged battery. Uh, so we will uh, we'll just use that and make sure that we extend out from it again. His medium tyres will be essentially... I mean, we've, oh, he's a little bit quicker that lap, so we'll just keep an eye on him. But it looks as though he, maybe that was a push lap for him to try and get inside DRS. It's been fairly stable around a, mid, a second and a half. If we look at lap times, the Red Bulls are in a class of their own. With everybody else, we're matching them for the most part. Give or take a lap here or there. Um, we've gone back to just sort of managing our tyres a little bit to get to the end. Another yellow flag. What's happened this time? Someone just running wide, perhaps. Um, Hulkenberg again. But yeah, you can see 1.7. So he had a bit of a push lap, and he's gone back to sort of normal. We're doing 16, 16 nines, so nobody else other than the Red Bulls is in the 16s. Almost Stroll, who's a, a mile down. So yeah, it, it's looking as though we're going to, fingers crossed, unless something goes wrong or there's a, uh, a safety car or something, we're just going to we're gonna end up back on the podium, which is... Very, very nice indeed. It's just such a shame about uh, Giovinazzi. Where could he have got? You know, we weren't that far behind Ocon, I think, weren't we? Was the guy that was directly in front of us when we got taken out. So you'd imagine, given that we've uh, got past Gasly, who's having another bit of a push lap here, it looks like. So let's go and uh, see if we can see him off here. Um, yeah, you'd imagine that we could have... Yeah, I don't know. We, we, you know. we were really quick at the start of the race. We were ahead of... Uh, all these guys so third and fourth 
possibly wouldn't have been out of the question, but Charles Leclerc had other ideas. All right, we're going to have a sneaky go for faster slap. Uh, that last lap where we used a bit of, uh, to try and get rid of Gasly, used a bit of uh, the, the battery, uh, we did a purple middle sector. So we're going to have another go here. It's going to absolutely destroy the tyres, but I'm hoping anyway that um, it will we'll open up a big enough gap. We can just sort of back off the tyres and it'll be fine. Um, but yeah, we can see we've got everything uh, everything lit up here trying to do this. And if it's not purple here, we will abandon it. Uh, this is where it is purple. Come on, Mick. Can he go and get it done? We were four tenths off when we uh, tried it last time. The battery's yeah, empty. The battery's yeah, empty at the worst yeah, time coming onto the straight. So that's probably... We didn't quite charge up enough. And by we, I mean me. Uh, so yeah, we were just shy of that. So we're going to have to be a little bit careful now. Uh, but what lap time did we do? Oh, so a six. So we were two tenths off. I bet you if we'd got the, uh, the Urs out of that final corner... I bet we would have done that because uh, I think it was a it was a 15, four or five, so we weren't far off that at all. But anyway, four seconds now back to Gasly. He'll start and come back at us, I would imagine, a little bit, but we should have this covered onto the podium if everything uh, stays on track. All right, we are on our final lap, and uh, we've got a six-second gap back to Gasly. You can see we've been conserving the tyres. We can probably... It's a little bit concerning, perhaps, that they're cold, but they're going to get us there just about. It's a good thing we're on the hard tyre, wasn't it? Uh, the medium tyre is Verstappen wins. Uh, the medium tyre... <coughs> oh, Alonso has uh, had something go wrong there. That wasn't... That's not supposed to happen, I don't think, Fernando. Um, <coughs> yeah, look at it. You can see him on the map there. He's going really slowly. He's had uh, a bit of a blowout or something, so he's not going to score many points. Now, of course, the disappointing thing here, as my voice decides to fail me at the crucial moment, is that although this has been a great race for Mick, championship-wise, as he does come across and get the podium, go on, Mickey boy. Uh, we're not going to gain much points because all these other teams, the, uh, the Alpines the, um, and, the, and the Mercedes, have got two cars into the points, so they're probably going to end up outscoring us, which is disappointing, obviously. But uh, there we go, on the podium with Mick. Surprise to see the Schumacher name up in lights. And that's podium number two, down to the hard work of the driver and the whole team, of course. And by the looks of things here in Barcelona, the party is only just beginning. So up four spots, and there we go. Look at that. It was it was it was like half a tenth. He was off the. We definitely would have got faster slap if we just had enough battery to get out of that last corner. But anyway, um, 15 points is, is absolutely fine. See how the board feels about that. Giovinazzi, I just feel so bad for him. I mean, what's the bloke got to do? Bad pit stop and then taken out by Leclerc, who still managed to score points as well. So, yeah, I think he would have been. I think he probably would have got Ocon. I mean, it's a big argument to say we would have got fourth and fifth. He wasn't that far behind these guys. Uh, we saw that when uh, when Alonso locked up. So, yeah, it's a shame. It's a big shame. So the drivers, Mick goes above of Ocon to 50 points. Uh, Giovinazzi stays 10th. Um, got a little bit of uh, little bit of wiggle room behind him. Norris uh, there scores a point, but he's uh, a fair way back. And, uh, well, 15 points. You can see what I mean. We've still lost out to Alpine on that one, even though we, we had a, a, a good result for ourselves. So... Uh, we only pulled a point back on Mercedes. Disappointing, obviously. So, let's check in with the board after that. How are they feeling? They are thinking they're satisfied with the podium. So, that's good. I mean, <laughs> we definitely needed that. We need more of it, though, now, don't we? And there's surely a chance that we can get it. The car is somewhat back to where it needs to be. Now, next race, it is Canada. Uh, we, got to, we were doing really well there. Did we actually win that race last year with Mick? I remember it was going really well. That was where Giovinazzi got taken out by... Uh, by Perez, wasn't it? But I have a feeling that uh, Mick did okay there. Now, Giovinazzi's car. What, what, what have we done here with uh, engines? Oh, Jesus. It's another engine. So, good thing we didn't put the new one in, isn't it? Jesus Christ, can you imagine that? So, that could have been worse. The ERS is busted, so he's going to have to take a penalty for that at some point. And uh, the gearbox, well, gearboxes are expendable, but he's lost two of them now to accidents, which is... Uh, which is not great. But anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed being back on the podium, thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you next time in Canada. And, uh, yeah, there's nothing new coming to the car, I don't think. But side pods will be on both cars, a new side pod. So 
it's uh, should be a good day. Take care.